Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mat tutorial videos. Today, ang pag-aaralan naman natin ay simplifying expressions with rational exponent. So, ano ba ang rational exponents? Rational exponents also called fractional exponents, are expression with exponents that are rational numbers. Example, x raised to m over n. Ibig sabihin, ito class yung expression na merong exponent na fraction. Kaya nga tinawag din itong fractional exponents. At para masimplify natin ang expression na may rational exponents, kinakailangan na alam nyo rin or na master nyo na ang laws of exponents. At kung hindi pa, I suggest na panoorin nyo muna class yung video tutorial na ginawa ko about laws of exponents na makikita nyo dito sa my description box. Bukod dito, kailangan din na marunong na kayo sa addition and subtraction of fractions Kaya i-review muna natin ang addition and subtraction ng fraction. So let's find the sum and difference of the following. Number 1, 2 over 9 plus 5 over 9. Ito class ay example ng addition of similar fraction. So similar fraction kasi pareha sila ng denominator. At sa addition of similar fraction, ia-add lang natin ang numerator, then kokopihin natin yung same denominator. So, 2 plus 5 is 7, then copy natin yung same denominator, magiging 7 over 9. Next, number 2, 3 over 7 minus 1 over 7. Ito naman class ay subtraction ng similar fraction. At sa subtraction ng similar fraction, isasubtract naman natin yung numerator, then kakopihin lang din yung denominator. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, number 2 natin is 2 over 7. For number 3, 2 third plus 1 fourth. So, ito naman ay example ng addition of the similar Fraction. So, the similar fraction kasi magkaiba yung kanilang denominator. And since class A, mababa lang naman yung ating given fractions, so gagamitan na lang natin ito ng butterfly method or yung cross multiplication method. Step 1, multiply the first diagonal. 2 times 4 is 8. Next, multiply the second diagonal. 3 times 1 is 3. Third step, multiply the denominator. 3 times 4 is 12. And then, next, add the product of the two diagonals. 8 plus 3 is 11. Kaya po naging 11 over 12. And last step, simplify if possible. Since yung 11 over 12 class ay nakasimplify na, so yan na yung ating final answer. Okay, next, number 4. 3 fourth minus 1 over 6. So, 18 minus 4 is 14. Then, 4 times 6 is 24. Kaya po, naging 14 over 24. Then, uh, simplify natin. Parehas class divisible by 2. So, 14 divided by 2 is 7. And, 24 divided by 2 is 12. Kaya po, naging 7 over 12. So, ngayon class, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa simplifying expressions with rational exponents. So, number 1, the quantity of k raised to 1 fourth times the quantity of k raised to 2 thirds. So, a-apply lang natin dito yung product rule. Kaya sabi ko kanina, kailangan class, alam nyo na yung ating laws of exponents. So, sa product rule, keep the base and add the exponent. So, 1 fourth plus 2 third is equal to 11 over 12. Then, kukopihin natin yung base, magiging k 
raised to 11 over 12. Next, number 2. So, dito class, i-apply muna natin yung power of a quotient. So, i-distribute natin yung exponents. So, pag na-distribute natin yung exponents, magiging y raised to 4 over 3 divided by y raised to 2 over 2. So, kaya po class naging 4 over 3, i-multiply lang natin yung 2 thirds sa 2. So, 2 thirds times 2 is 4 over 3 and 1 half times 2 is equal to 2 over 2 or 1. Pagkatapos, yung quotient rule naman class ang i-apply natin. Sa quotient rule, keep the base and subtract the exponents. So, so, copyhin lang natin yung base, then subtract natin yung exponents. So, 4 over 3 minus 2 over 2 is equal to 2 over 6 or 1 over 3. Kaya, ang magiging sagot natin is y raised to 1 third. Next, number 3. a raised to 5 over 7 divided by a raised to 3 over 2. So, ito class ay quotient rule ulit. So, sa quotient rule, keep the base and subtract the exponent. So, subtract natin 5 over 7 minus 3 over 2. So, 5 over 7 minus 3 over 2 is equal to negative 11 over 14. So, magiging A raised to negative 11 over 14. Since negative plus yung exponents, kailangan pa nating isimplify gamit naman ang negative law of exponents. At sa negative law of exponents, kukunin lang natin ang reciprocal tapos gagawin mong positive na yung exponent. Kaya po, magiging 1 over A raised to 11 over 14. For our last example, so para naman masimplify natin ito, gagamitan naman natin ng power of a product. So, i-distribute lang natin ang exponent. So, 12 times 1 over 3 is 12 over 3. Then, 9 times 1 third is 9 over 3. Kaya po naging x raised to 12 over 3 and y raised to 9 over 3. Then, sisimplify natin 12 over 3 and 9 over 3. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, our final answer is x to the 4th power and y raised to the 3rd power. So, hanggang dito na lang class. Kung meron po kayong hindi naitindihan at meron kayong gustong itanong, ilagay lang po sa ating comment section at isa-isa natin niyang sasagutin. Muli, maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.